catch you like on a beach being like, oh, I'm delicious. Hello, I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. And welcome to our channel. We are Whiskey Eats. Not Whiskey Snobs. So if you like all things whiskey. And you are not a snob. Subscribe! subscribe. Oh, Play! <laughs> uh, so we're trying another whiskey today. Exciting. What are we tasting? Today? One that we're quite familiar with. Okay. But I've not tried in, in a good while. Me neither, actually. I've not tried this one. We are for trying a, while. a Brickladdy Brick Classic Laddie. Laddie. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so, yeah, we always have this one in the shop. Yep. We really like yep. it. Yeah, yeah. It's... One we often recommend is because people often think that they can't have an Isla whiskey if they don't like a peated whiskey. Absolutely. Not all Islas are peated, mm -hmm. and this one, as standard, is not peated. Um, so no, none of the Bricladdies are peated. They do a Port no. Charlotte and they do an Octomore that are peated, but all the Bricladdies are completely unpeated. So it's nice to try the, the kind of coastal salty whiskeys without mm -hmm. the peat if you're not a huge peaty fan. Who's pouring? Who's uh, pouring? Are you, are you pouring? Pour Who's pouring? And I love, like, what do you think of the bottle? I really like it. So do I. Some people don't. That's it's a bit of a controversial bottle. I think some people say it looks cheap or, like, they're trying to hide the colour of the whiskey or, um, like, other things like that. I think it's, it's different. It's different. I think there is a bit of it that's trying to, um, so it's taken me so long to pour those whiskeys and they've still spilled them. <laughs> um, I think it's one that does, is slightly meant to appeal to younger people, which I think it does to an extent. It's, like, it's not yeah. traditional. And I think the there's business. enough whiskeys that you can see the whiskey. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like, I don't think one can be a bit different. Yeah, and like the co the color, like this is Doesn't what we're trying to see. We don't, really, we don't, yeah. we're not trying to, we're trying not no. to focus too much on the color. We're focusing mm -hmm. on what the whiskey tastes like. The color doesn't tell you that much. Even though, like, it can it can allude to what it's been in, but you don't need to guess with this one what the color says because they flame and tell you exactly what it's been they in do. with the wee barcode on it. So, mm -hmm. um, which I love, and this blue, it's like they've painted, 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 paint, paint, pat, paint, pattern. Patented? 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 The colour? Uh -huh. I think they have their own... I think the one I... The thing I heard was that they have their own Pantone colour. I don't know if that's true or not. Like Brew Cladi Blue? Yeah, I think it's called Brew Cladi Blue or whatever. And it's meant something. to be the colour of the... It's meant to be the colour of the sea when you yeah. arrive at the distillery on a spring day. And I thought that was a load of nonsense. I was like, oh, yeah, sure. But like, why would it be that strong colour? I did go there. It was October time, but it was mm. that colour. Which is mad colour. Mad in October. Yeah. Like, you would think it would be like dark and gloomy in October time. It was so that's mad. white sand underneath. Yeah. So it's a beautiful place. The distillery is lovely as well because they've got it all white with like their all the writing on. It's that colour. It's just really nice. It's really... Uh, all the other distilleries you go to as well are kind of like old-fashioned... Yeah. Um, and that one is too. It's all the old machinery and everything. It's really like back to basics, but it has like a modern feel to it, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. And they've got like a black Victorian old still, do they not? Like their the pot stills all black. Their stills are quite dark, and it's the like still rooms all wooden, which seems like oh, a oh, fire disaster ring to happen. Yeah, yeah, alcohol and um, but it's lovely. It feels like you're inside a boat or something. Which is really quite nice. cool. So it's a really cool mishmash of, I think, a traditional historical things to do with whiskey but also lots of like modern stuff yeah so like that's really modern uh, branding and things like that but then they've got they were one of the first distilleries if not the first to start experimenting more with heritage varieties of barley right yeah so one of my favorite expressions from Brickladdy is the bear barley yep 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 ancient barley street lovely it's got like a really nice like depth mm. to it almost like a toasted oak kind yeah of yeah loveliness it was really good. and organic and stuff like that which is obviously quite new to yeah, the too yeah. so they're just, I think they're like the perfect combombination of like, this Old is a traditional modern, thing, yeah. but we're also not stuck in the past. Yeah. So it smells. So good. It's quite so light, so light, quite citrus. Tangy, Tangy citrus. Tangy, yeah, malty. Malty, very malty, vanilla. I'm smelling sherry cask off that actually. Yeah, more so than I usually more do. More so than I usually mm -hmm. do. And it, different batches might be slightly different. I guess they'll try and keep it as similar as possible. Yeah, yeah. But um, that's, I get. The cherry cask more on that than I've ever had before. And they usually have some some proportion of French wine casks. In they do, well, yeah. Uh -huh. cool. Definitely tell you the types of wine as well. I've not looked for this batch recently. We should have looked actually, but this yeah. one. So that's another really cool thing: transparency, which we absolutely love, and it means you know what you're buying, and you can be more informed about what you're buying. Be a geek and not a snob yes. about all of here. So on each bottle, there's a wee serial code, and it you go go in. It's a wee bit hidden on their website, isn't it? I think that's yeah, the yeah. It took me a while to find it at first. So you go into the philosophy of 
whiskey stuff and then yeah, going that yeah, way. Yeah, you can put the wee code in and up comes this PDF. It tells, it tells you exactly you. what's in there. The only thing they still can't tell you is the age of the older casks that are in there. Right. But they can tell you all the younger, all the age of the youngest cask in there they can tell you so you know what the minimum age of the whiskey in there is. Which is bad they can't tell you that. I think that is stupid. I do think that's yeah, stupid. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to know just out of interest. Yeah, I think that's like a thing that's like meant to be shrouded in mystery for some reason. I don't know mm-hmm. why. I think it's just yeah. peculiar just to tell us what's in it but anyway so so yeah Slange. Uh, Slange. Mm, mm. Mm. it's so good that really tangy really tangy and just the amount of, right amount of like heat yep a nice like it heat to it. oh it's so um, nice i love that it's whiskey. got Almost the kind of the tang of like mature cheddar cheese. Oh, dear, yeah, that's a really good way of that describing it. Kind of coastal. tang. Coastal, coastal it's got salty. like a salty not really salty. No hint. But hint. like the like as if you're by the sea and there's a storm mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and some of the sea air goes in your mouth. <laughs> in a nice way. In a nice in way. In a nice way. <laughs> I feel like I like this better without the water. I don't know why. Because it's quite feeling... strong. This one is fifty percent, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. I feel like at the moment, I don't know if it's because it's winter. I'm preferring without water. I yeah, like, I'm liking a more intense flavour and more of a heat. It gets for me a bit more. Mm. Oh, oh no, different, but not worse actually. Mm, different, but not, not like worse. honeydew melon now. Yeah, that's a really good thing. Mm. Really good thing. Tasting note. Mm-hmm. I do love blue clad, I just love them. They're Isla Barley whiskey, I really like that one. I yeah, find that one really quickly. Yeah. Like salted caramel is so good. I um, find this so different from Port Charlotte as well. So I feel like the Port Charlotte's all like deep and like barbecue sauce mm-hmm. and brown mm-hmm. sugar and this is just like so light and like it's like all up here. Yep, definitely. And the definitely. Port Charlotte's like all And they've got um, dancing <laughs> <that's> up <laughs> down. And they've got the botanist as well, Jen. The botanist nice gin's lovely as well, nice and savoury before dinner. Yep, gin. Definitely. Yep. Um, and Octomore uh, whiskey, which is the mega mega PT one, which is delicious as well. Doesn't taste as PT as it is on paper, but then there's things around that. Yeah, so. I, would agree, I, would agree that. Um, mm. I love, I love, I, I yeah. I feel that's exactly my taste right now. Because I'm going to be a bit off PT ones, but I like a coastal, a coastal, mm-hmm. but a coastal um, unpeated, coastal yeah. unpeated, and that's just great. Great, really good instruction to Isla if you're trying to get into Isla whiskeys, but you're not so fond Definitely, of Definitely, that's yet. ideal, yeah. And great tour as well, you've been on the tour. The tour's that. excellent, one yeah. of the best tours, if not the best tour on Isla. Yeah, I need to go, I need to go. Awesome, yeah, and all of it, buddy. Uh, thank you for joining us. Mm-hmm. We're still drinking, oh, mm-hmm. we're still drinking it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> thank you for joining us, and join us again next week for another different whiskey tasting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And subscribe. subscribe. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time. Slange. Are you a snow? Mm. Is that why you don't like the bottle? No, I'm joking. That's taste is partly mm. why that is. Um, that's me being a snow about taste, isn't it? My, millennial brain. Mm-hmm. I'll stop talking now. It's delicious whiskey though.